Well, folks, it is time you hide your kids, hide your webs, get your puppers on a leash, man. Put your seat belts on, clench your butt cheeks, because we about to dive into this baby tonight, okay? The video that we have today is gonna knock your socks out. It's gonna get your hair sitting on the back of your neck, bruh. too, bruh. And, and a lot of the Call of Duty refugees, they, they are, like, just panicking right now, okay? Because, obviously, there's no other game to talk about. Uh, there's nothing coming up, but shout out to the homie Prime Pete. If you get to 500 likes on this video, I might drop the next one, but roll it. Check they've this. been accused of. This this is one of, if not the most important video that I have ever made. Okay. I never asked this. Mr. President, you better watch out. This guy about to leak the nuclear codes right Please now. Please watch at least the first five minutes. It's vital that anyone seeing this understands the most important part of this blog post and my legitimate interpretation of what they're really saying. Mm, you can't he about to leak your BBC too, guys. Watch out, watch out. Stay for that long. Please make sure you push this video as far in the algorithm as possible. Oh, I'm going damn. to go over these sections of the document in Yo, what is he? What is he really gonna leak right now? Okay, I'm kind of curious right now. He's like, watch for at least five minutes. If you cannot do that, push it into the algorithm. This is the most important video. He about to leak the nuclear codes, man. I'm telling full you. Full depth. I promise I've analyzed these statements so closely, it'll make your head spin. But first and foremost, it's crucial to understand that although there's already lots of accusations of them lying and the statements they're making not being truthful in this blog, okay. it's actually a very dangerous narrative to push without understanding exactly what's going on. See, Activision cannot lie in this. Okay. Oh, bruh, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. They have been lying for years. God damn it. They have been lying for years. What do you mean? This guy is so, so good, man. But if you're gonna come from the angle of, hey, Activision cannot lie to the their investors. Okay, yeah, sure. I believe you. If you're gonna say Activision is trying to not lie because they don't want to catch a lawsuit. Okay, I sure, sure. Sure, I believe you. But other than that, bro, they be lying. <laughs> they be lying every single day, bro. They they lied even with this bundle, with this family. You be I want you guys to understand that. But don't get these keyboard warrior fingers ready to tell me I'm shilling. That's not my point. The point is, it's it seems like Activision are maneuvering in a way that technically, in heavy quotes, technically, they're saying the truth, but discreetly avoiding the actual reality. They're excluding important details, and again, using weirdly and cleverly phrased language in order to try to convince us using subtly worded explanations to throw us off the scent of EOMM and other mm. manipulative practices. While to us, the people who have actually experienced it- Oh shit! Oh. Yay! Okay, now it hits. Right now, I'm like this right now. Goddamn, goddamn. He bringing it back. He bringing it back because I was like, bro, he's like a delusional fanboy, but uh, right now he bringing it back. And he bringing played it back. the game, or to just anyone with a lick of sense, dancing around the real truth while saying some things that are quote unquote technically true is still okay. lying for all intents and purposes because we know how the game feels. But in a yep, real yep. court of law, dog, what? dog, Call of Duty, playing Call of Duty is like working at McDonald's for free, but you're the one actually paying the CEO. They're saying in this blog post has to hold up or else they can get in some serious trouble. True, if they true, actually true. lie publicly to their fans, that could actually lead to a huge legal case. So I actually think that even though Activision are a pretty scummy company and use practices I highly disagree with, anything they flat out deny, as in they say, no, that's not in the game, even though I'm skeptical, is probably them telling the truth or at yeah. least saying uh, something that's okay. technically okay. true. All right, bro, let's get down to the nuclear codes right now. I want you leaking out the nuclear codes. I want you to give that sauce to us straight up right now. Like, right now, bro, right now. I want to give them more credit than they deserve, and I hate to say that I was wrong about some things, but this article is riddled with them dodging the real truth and offering deceptively and specifically phrased arguments that dodge the actual reality of the situation while okay. technically being true. When I tell you I've scrutinized every single one of these questions so hard and tried to figure out every possible interpretation of every answer they give yeah. to the normal technically he might actually be right you know sections and to the q a questions i mean it i've scoured these questions and oh responses for little loopholes Keep and little avoidances of the actual issue maybe even places where you could interpret a little thing two different ways but as a result that little interpretation could benefit the narrative they're trying to spread i have oh, absolutely damn. zero doubt in my mind whatsoever that lawyers were definitely present yeah. when they were writing this blog yeah. post and that i wouldn't be surprised bro like if you were there too man because after all you're the young salt good man too damn it 
Along with how precisely and cleverly phrased it was, it's no surprise that it took two months to write. Yeah. This is the most important- And yeah, plot twist number one. He's talking about that skill-based mastering, and yeah, they actually said that in November that they're gonna reveal and talk about skill-based mastering, and then Sucka's Lost. I'll hope, I remember, even Nero Shenema, Nero Shenema, Nero Shenema also came out. He made a video and he said that there is no way it is Joe where even Nero Sanma was like this, okay? He started like waving the white flag uh, and, and he was like, okay, bro, like there is no way. I refuse to believe that Activision will ever talk about skill based match again. Two days later, well, they actually came out and they put up the article and uh, it took them two months, two months to write a couple of lines right there. I mean, damn, y'all suckers could have just told us that. But they actually took their time. They they probably got their lawyers involved. They got their analyst, uh, analyst as well. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they got the psychologist and everything like that. And they, they started like tapping out all those uh, all those uh, uh, skill beach matchmaking mechanics and those nuclear codes. But they're not still. They're not giving us everything, bro part that you must watch to understand what they're actually saying and where I'm coming from. This first part is the greatest example of them technically oh, telling man. the truth <laughs> but dodging the actual reality, but doing so in a way that they could get out of a legal case if someone were to take out a class action lawsuit. Let's take a look. Quote. Okay, if you're gonna if you're gonna say technically, then I gotta do this as well, okay? Friendly technically online! We use player performance to ensure that the disparity between the most skilled player in the lobby and the least skilled player in the lobby isn't so vast that players feel their match is a waste of time. Our data on player outcomes clearly indicates that the inclusion of skill in Call of Duty's multiplayer matchmaking process, as it currently stands, increases the variety of outcomes experienced by players of all skill levels. In other words, all players, regardless of skill level, are more likely to experience wins and losses more proportionately. This is one of, if not the most important paragraph in the entire article, and it's at this point that I'm basically 100% positive that they're using some form of EOMM within Call of Duty. Remember when I said they were using clever words that are technically the technically, truth, but cleverly yeah, dodged they're... the real narrative? <laughs> Let's look at this quote again. This man, uh, yo, you should change your name from Prime P to technically Prime P. <laughs> but, but he making a compelling argument though, right? Like jokes aside, he definitely is making a compelling argument. And, and I mean, listen, we, we with you, homie. We with you, we know how it's like, bro. I, I personally did not buy Modern Warfare 3, so I, I feel the pain. I see that you're playing the game. I don't feel the pain no more because I did not buy. I just skipped out on that. Yay! I did not buy Modern Warfare 3, but I can see like you, you've you been going through a whole lot of pain while playing this game. So I feel The inclusion of skill increases the variety of outcomes experienced by players. Now, this is extremely important. Notice that they chose the word outcomes and not experiences or gameplay or match experience. Mm. They chose variety of outcomes. Damn. As in, do you win or lose in the end? Did you play well or play poorly? Did you go positive? They chose to say a variety of end results, outcomes, instead of a variety of gameplay experiences. And that is admitting something. Instead of wanting yeah. to give us legitimate variety of gameplay experiences where each match is different, they instead give this, us- This is why, guys, I always told you, man, this algorithm is so crazy. Like, you play five games and seconds know the size of your dong. They know how many kids you're gonna have in the future. See? They know the outcome! They know the outcome! Bruh. They know the outcome! They know the results! They know even before you begin! They know the outcome! This is how the mafia works, guys. This is how the algorithm works. See, I've been telling you. We've been right all along. I was, uh, actually we talking about this crap and guys real quick i want to say i've been uploading like some memes content on the channel as well yeah. definitely check it out if you see it but Check this. It's a variety of outcomes in an attempt to get us to play longer and get addicted. It's right here in an EOMM study. A higher oh, variety of outcomes doubles player retention. It's right. Okay, churn risk 2.6 to 2.7, 3.7%. Do I understand that? Bruh. Uh, I don't I don't know if I understand that, but all I know is that, bro. Like these are some this is some goddamn Oh my god, like here in writing wonder why every match feels just as sweaty but sometimes you're losing sometimes winning sometimes doing horribly sometimes doing yeah. really well it's yeah. because they've admitted in writing that their objective is to give you a variety of outcomes oh, not cool. a variety of gameplay experiences they're just saying that by including skill in the matchmaking process it allows them to give players different results or different outcomes versus a system that when did gaming became this algorithm centric bro i still remember the day when it was just like okay you wanna hop on with your homies after school, after work, you hop on, you go through the menu and you pick and select uh, from the menu that was like vertical, 
EF, right? Like, you had the menu, like, tick, 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 tick. You had all the options, like, tick, 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 tick. And it was simple. Right now, they got the Netflix, like, bull squash like menu. Half of the time, you don't understand what's going on. You're like, yeah, bro, I, like, I want to I wanna play this mode. I want to play. You click on it, and boom, 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 boom. It does, like, a whole lot of matchmaking connection. It sees, uh, the, like, your past performances, and it, it knows, like, the size of your dog. Bruh. And it also knows how many kids you're gonna have and how many kids you already got or how many kids you and, and it knows like if you have a bozo genes or if you have like a like an alpha gene you know what i'm saying right like it knows and depending on the depending on that upon all of that it decides who it want to match make you with dog it's basically like the tender bullshies like uh but but it's pro max it's pro max doesn't. So long story short, without heavily weighing skill in the matchmaking process, the match outcomes wouldn't fluctuate as much. In other words, be as inconsistent, and as a result, a system like EOMM loses its effectiveness. All players are likely to experience wins Damn. and losses more proportionately. Right there, it's one thing to want everyone to have a fair experience, but if you're an amazing player and you're still going 50-50 with wins and losses, what the heck is even the point? The yeah. whole point of being great at something- It's like, it's like going to the gym but to, and you're working out daily or let's just say every other day or you know what you're going to the gym and you're working out to be like strong right and and in return mm -hmm. activision mm -hmm. is like well with the skill based match where again all of your workout is gone to hell it's gone to the toilet because you're working daily to be strong right but it's like you're working out daily to be weaker that's that's how this algorithm is because there right now there is no point in becoming better at this game dog there is zero point you get better then you perform worse that's how it is like imagine like working out daily and then your performance is like bad it's like you're just better off eating mcdonald's is uh, what activision is saying right now by the way do not eat mcdonald's guys uh you, you, it's a whole lot of processed food you're eating processed food this is why your ability to process information is like this Bruh. okay like do not eat processed okay don't eat processed is food that your like results that. will be more consistently positive constantly going 50 50 regardless of your skill isn't fairness it's communism it's everyone gets the same no matter what no matter how good you are what you do Fair is allowing the players who are good and the players who are bad to compete to see who comes out on top, like in Agreed. the golden age of Agreed. COD. It's allowing the bad players to hate losing and push to be better. That's how we all got better. Including Yay. skill within the matchmaking process does something that helps this narrative along immensely. And that is the fact that if you want to push 50-50 results, regardless of skill, you have to separate the good players from the bad players so that the results aren't going to be disproportionately tilted towards the good players. Right. However, this methodology when it comes to matchmaking completely eliminates the fairness of every match because they want players to experience all outcomes proportionately regardless of their skill which in other words means that your skill has nothing to do, to do with, with the, the actual result. result there we oh, are shit. ladies and gentlemen and let's actually get into this one right here 100 percent proof of eomm and the situation is so wild that activision is like okay we're gonna give you the keys to the kingdom right now okay we're gonna give you the keys to the kingdom but the keys don't work they cannot unlock the door, Activision! You gave me the wrong keys, bro! You gave me the wrong keys! I mean, even in the Harry Potter Sorcerer's Stone, when, uh, you know, Harry Potter tries to get the keys, he's presented with thousands and thousands of keys. At least he's presented! At least he can work hard to get the right one, and he does get... Bruh. He does get the right one, but right here, we don't even have the, the right keys, bro! We don't even have the opportunity to pick the right keys, dog. Like, come on, man, what kind of nuclear codes are these, bro? Specific kind of game. The largest proof is in the Q&A section. Oh, they dang. answered a ton of controversial questions regarding the game, along with its systems Ow. and matchmaking practices. It addresses skill-based damage, what bots, microtransaction engines, and other controversial areas. But there's one thing that they refuse to ever acknowledge knowledge you know address I mean? deny or confirm and i'll give you one guess what it is it's eomm now mm. let me get this straight activision is aware of the most conspiracy theory most underground and far-fetched arguments yeah. like the one for skill-based damage and the patents and more underground and lesser known arguments like bots and patented microtransaction engines over, keep in bro. mind skill-based damage is such a little known discussion in cod man them talking about skill-based management they probably thought that it would be a good thing to talk about skill based match again but them talking about skill based match again has opened like a new can of worms right now 
this is conspiracy pro max because obviously and let's be real i i don't blame you i don't blame uh, myself either Bruh. okay i don't blame youtubers i don't blame anybody that's questioning this it's good that you're questioning this because they are lying through their teeth right now these suckers are lying these people are lying right now you know Bruh. what i'm saying the, uh, the, this breath if you told us the truth we wouldn't even be here okay we wouldn't even be talking about it but like they started a new can of worms i mean i i, I guess it's a, it's like one of those things right like uh, P pizza had caused Domino's for getting their secret sauce the secret sauce of uh Domino's right pizza Hut wants to get that i mean Domino's not gonna give it and activision did the same thing here and guys uh, like this video goes really really crazy click on this video on the screen check this out because the homie went crazy and he exposed the entire activation check it out and i'll see you right there